information a Japanese candlestick provides. In this video, you will learn how to ascertain the balance between the buyers and the sellers, what the size of the wicks of a candlestick tells you, what a doji shows you, and finally, why you should be careful with candlesticks that have not yet closed. In order to ascertain the balance between buyers and sellers, you could look at the size and color of the candlestick. When the body of the candlestick is bearish but small, as you see here, there is a relative equilibrium between the bulls and the bears. We can see that because the candle is bearish, there is slightly more selling pressure than buying pressure. As more bears enter the market, the selling pressure increases and the body of the bearish candles become longer under this added selling pressure. This is because the extra selling pressure is moving the price further down. Therefore, the longer the body of a bearish candlestick, the more selling pressure there is. This is the same when bullish candles form. As the sentiment changes and more bulls enter the market, a bullish candle will begin to form. The small blue candlestick shows that there is, more or less, a balance between bulls and bears, but with slightly more pressure from the bullish side. As more bulls enter the market, the body of the bullish candlestick will grow larger as it pushes the price further up. Therefore, the longer the body of the bullish candlestick, the more buying pressure existed in the market when that candlestick formed. The balance between the bulls and the bears can change during the formation of a candlestick. As we can see, sentiment is changing as this candle forms. The body of the candle starts to get smaller and smaller thereby forming the lower wick of the candlestick. In this example, we see that the period started out bearish, but as sentiment changed and the bears left the market, the body of the candlestick started to retreat back towards the upside. When the balance shifted towards the bulls, the candlestick turned bullish, shown by the blue candlestick. The longer the wicks are after the candle has formed, the more dramatic the change in sentiment was whilst the candle was being formed. When there is an equal balance between the buyers and the sellers, this is known as a doji. The doji is characterized by the very small body relative to the wicks. A very small body shows the equal balance between the bulls and the bears. Whenever the bulls manage to push the price up, the bears entered the market to push the price back down again. Then, when the bears succeeded in pushing the price down, the bulls entered and pushed the price back up. Because the balance shifted neither in favor of the bulls nor the bears, the candle formed as a small body with long wicks. This is a doji. Whenever a doji appears, it means there is indecision in the market. A lot can happen during the period in which a candle forms, and the balance in power can shift from one side to the other. Therefore, at the beginning of the candle formation, it could be that the bulls are more in control than the bears. However, during the formation of the candle, sellers could come into the market and change the market sentiment, changing the candle significantly during the time it is formed. What may start out as a bullish candle could end up as a bearish candle. This means you should only ever base a decision on a closed candle. Normally, at the beginning of a new period, one candle opens where the previous candle closed. This does not happen all of the time, however. Sometimes there is a gap between the close of one candle and the open of another. This can happen when the price moves rapidly in a single direction. At that particular moment, there was most likely extreme selling power or buying power pushing the price in one direction so quickly. The software or server could not keep up. So far, you have learned that the size of the body of the candle indicates whether the buyers or sellers are in control that the larger a bullish body is in relation to its wicks, the more the buyers are in control. And the larger a bearish body is in relation to its wicks, the more the sellers are in control. A candle with a very small body in relation to its wicks shows market indecision and that there is a balance between buyers and sellers. Furthermore, it is important to make a decision only once a candlestick has closed, because an open candlestick can change during the formation.